This is my first trip ever in the intermodal. There is a trailer I am picking. I got the permission from Union Pacific. Tell me where the location is. It's 1311. That is the seal number. That is the trailer number. And uh, I got it. I got hooked to it. I'm not hooked. I'm almost in, in my way to hook it to it. We have to make sure the seal number is correct. And that is the zip ties we are going to use. We need four of those. First thing you notice that Oh, it's exact, so I don't need to watch. So the first pin is locked. There is no, there is a BOL right here, bill of lading. We will take it out of here. It seems to be working. There are no damage at the top. You can ignore this damage. Those are radial, radial tires. Sealed. That is the seal number. This doesn't look to be locked. This is not locked. This is not locked. Yeah, because you look at here, it is not locked. This is not locked, so we need to lock this one. Now it is locked, so we need to come back and tie it. That's a good point. This one is now locked. This is not locked. So we need to lock it. So now it is locked. We just need to come back and tie it. Now it is locked. It is locked. We are missing here. We are missing here flap, a mud flap. So we will get to the shop to put the mud flap. And this mud flap is pinch. This needs to be fixed. What the hell is that? This is the first time I see that stupid thing. How is that? Why did that happen? That's broke. And this one is 
So somebody just locked it from one side and not from the other side. We have a damaged landing gear and missing flat. That is locked and secured. That is locked and secured. That is locked and secured. Now we have to lower. We have to dump the air to get. To avoid scrubbing the grease. There is not much grease here. From this side, you can tell you have to drop to dump the air to be able to go under. Before you lock it, before you lock the king bin, you need to make sure you get the landing gear up. Because if you don't, you might twist, you might twist. You might twist the, you might break the fifth wheel. You have to make sure that you get the legs out first. Let me just make sure so it doesn't fall for a bit. Yeah, we are under here. You don't hug the king bin before you get the legs up to make sure that you don't twist the king bin and you don't twist the, the landing gear. I'm going now in the low gear. It looks easy on the low gear. My right hand is damaged. Should not ever do that. It's stupid. It's getting hard now. Come on, buddy. Just let it dangle like that. There is no hand in the hook or anything. Just leave it like that. And you don't forget you have to hook. See if that will work. But that's, that's still okay. Spence. This this is the third problem. The reaper is not working. Forty four is supposed to be minus ten. So that will go to the shop. Really, that is blue. That is red. Remember, this is just the blue. Has to be the blue. Right? The voice. <laughs> and this is the red. This is the red. Now we are okay. Here. So the first problem is that the reefer have to go to the shop to fix the reefer. And the landing gear and the missing mud flap have to go to Union Pacific to fix it. 